recently, boys, I've been reading a lot about modern medicine and I've come across a discovery that could literally keep you alive for 150 years in perfect health. Now, in this video, I'm gonna run you through what it is, how it works, where to find it, and how much it costs. So boys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back, chaps. Now, I don't know about you boys, but I've always wanted to live a long life. Ever since I was younger, I've had in my head, 150 years old would be a good age to live to in perfect health. And for some reason, I've always been fascinated by that. So today I'm putting on my, my scientist hat, my doctor's hat. I'm going to teach you some doctor science. I'm going to teach you that there is medicine that can make you live to 150 years old that's available right now that so many people don't know about. There's so many people suffering from diseases and illness and injuries that they don't have to suffer from. So when I found out about this, it blew my mind. I know it's a little bit different to what the channel is normally about, but I just thought I'm so interested in it. I have to, to take you boys through it and hopefully you'll be interested in it as well. So let's begin our journey. This video is all about stem cells. And the reason I'm making it is because there are advances in stem cells that have recently come about that are just absolutely mind blowing. And a lot of you probably don't know how incredible stem cells actually are. So first, let's take it back to the drawing board and just let's do a quick overview of what stem cells are. Stem cells, cell inside of the body, the basic building blocks of any cell or organ or any anything in your body they are like what we're grown from they have superhuman healing abilities if you chop a baby's finger off now i don't think you should do that that would be wrong and that would be harmful to the baby they wouldn't like it but they would regrow their finger if you didn't stitch the womb up and that's because they have an abundance of stem cells so when you are born you are like a beautiful mansion and you have a full team of staff that are looking after this mansion anything goes wrong leaky pipes drain breaks window gets smashed these the this staff that work in the mansion they go and repair everything and the mansion looks absolutely incredible now when the mansion gets 78 years old the staff are dying off they're no longer fixing the leaky pipes they're no longer going around and fixing the broken windows and eventually the mansion becomes disheveled and old and derelict and that that would be signifying your death the staff that are employed at that mansion they are your stem cells and they are abundant when you're young but slowly deplete and run out until you don't have any left that is what stem cells do for your body and obviously that's worrying because any single one of us is running out of these stem cells that keep us young that, that heal our body that stop us from growing old so the way i actually came across stem cells and started to become excited by them was through tony robbins new book it's called life force and he has an incredible story in this book that if any of you don't know tony robbins he's a self-help guru but he's an absolute animal he's a huge guy and he he spends the majority of his life on the stage getting people enthusiastic to change their lives essentially and he runs around he pounds his chest like an animal very similar to myself maybe even more energy than me so when he tore his rotator cuff which is quite a nasty shoulder injury that's obviously bad news there's no chest pounding going on there there's no, not much of anything going on there so he then has to find a way to fix this shoulder that doesn't take him off stage. He goes to all the major surgeons. They say, yep, you need surgery, months of rehabilitation, blah, blah, blah. You might never get shoulder mobility back. And he's thinking, Jesus, this is, this is a death sentence. This is a nightmare for me. So he does some, some more niche research and he comes across a guy called Dr. Bob Hariri. And he recommends that Tony Robbins get stem cell injections. Now, you have to go to a special place in Panama to get this done. So Tony Robbins flies over there. It's about $25,000. He's not sure if it's going to work. He does his first day in Panama, sits down, gets his injections, three injections in the shoulder, one IV into his blood, goes home, goes for his sleep, comes back the next day. Nothing too much change. Second day, gets another three injections in the shoulder, another IV, starts to shake, starts to get cold all over his body, shake him. And they say, don't worry, that's your body healing itself. You just need to go to sleep. So he goes home, he sleeps for like 14 hours. He wakes up after the second day of treatment. This shoulder injury that would normally take surgery and months and months of physio is completely healed in two days. Not only that, but Tony Robbins is, is had a back problem, a spinal back problem, very hard to fix, aches and pains over his body. Everything's gone after that second day of stem cells. The stem cells that were put into his 
shoulder to fix his shoulder have now fixed his entire body so he's absolutely chuffed he, he's ama he's amazed he's like this is absolutely incredible stuff how have i never heard of this and he leaves he's very very happy gets back on the stage and he's completely healed not only his shoulder but his entire body he's like a new man not only that but tony robbins regularly gets his brain checked to see how fast his brain is firing how how much brain power he has and how his brain is developing and he goes back to the guy that tests his brain and they they test his brain again and he's de-aged 20 years. His brain has got 20 years younger just through these stem cells. So that, that story absolutely blew my mind because those are not uncommon results. You can have shoulder injuries healed within a matter of days, broken bones healed within a week, skin grafts, it can cure cancers, it can, re it can reverse Alzheimer's. The stem cells are absolutely unbelievable. So just to let you guys know, this is not some like mumbo jumbo, hippy dippy, um, it's not hippie medicine, it's not vegan medicine, because either of those would make it terrible. But this is actual medicine that's being used by top athletes, Cristiano Ronaldo, Tiger Woods, Rafael Nadal. I mean, how much more evidence do you need? Cristiano Ronaldo had a torn hamstring, should have been out for months, had it healed within a week and got back to playing football. That happened a little while ago, you can type that in and look into it. Same with both these guys. Career-ending career ending injuries or massive disruptions that are sorted within a matter of a week in this in this clinic in Panama. Absolutely incredible results. Also, Joe Rogan sends his mum there. Sent his mum to this place in Panama twice. She's come back a new woman. Apparently, he can't get her off horses now. She's riding horses willy-nilly. She's 106, and she's... I'm making that up. I'm going to stop now. I'm making that up. But anyway, Joe Rogan said his mum is a new woman. I don't know how old she is, but he sent her there twice. It's, it's, it's trusted by the top, top athletes and, and top business people around the world. So it's just stuff the common man hasn't heard of, but professional athletes are, are using it. I'm going to give you boys another story, and this is where we tie into how do you live to 150 years using this stem cell therapy. And the story is from Dr. Bob Hariri again, and it's about mice. So when he got out of university and he was studying, he decided to take the blood of a, a young mouse and put it into an old mouse and took the blood of an old mouse, put it into the young mouse. Amazingly, the old mouse, who was nearly dead, got new hair, started regrowing his muscles, running around with a load of energy, just off of getting the blood of the, of, the, of the young mouse. And the young mouse started to age. He started to get old. Straight away, he started to age and his body started to, to give way. And he realized then that the young blood is so abundant with stem cells and old blood has hardly any stem cells in it. And that is what stops us from aging because these stem cells can create any cell in the body. So if you've got an issue like a, a torn rotator cuff, it just, all the stem cells go there and they fix it almost instantly. Same with bone, same with any diseases. That was how Dr. Bob came up with the idea for the stem cells and he's been researching that for 30 years. And that is why aging is caused by a lack of stem cells in the body. So if we want to reverse aging, we just need an abundant source of stem cells. So what are the different types of stem cells? Because this is where people get confused. People often think you're taking stem cells from your own body and re-injecting them to a new area. You don't want to do that. That is not the, the top way of using them. So first ones you've got, embryonic stem cells. These, these can turn into absolutely any cell on the body, including the cells you need to create new life. They come from the three to five day old embryo created in IVF treatment. So if you're doing IVF to make a woman pregnant, when she can't get pregnant and you're making it in a lab, they often make multiple sperms and eggs come together as, a, as an embryo. And then they only implant one in the woman and the others get destroyed. So you can then take those cells from the embryo and they can be turned into any different cell in the body and they can be injected into a person and used as very good stem cells. Though this often isn't used because there's a bit of red tape, so to speak, people thinking this is a bad way of doing it because they're affecting life. Even though the IVF, that they were going to be thrown away anyway. They're totipotent stem cells, any cell, including embryos. Then you've got pluripotent stem cells. This is what Tony Robbins had. They come from the placenta or the umbilical cord after birth. The placenta is the sac that a baby is grown in. And the incredible thing about the placenta, you can have a placenta and the, the woman has terrible cancer, but the baby will never be born with cancer. And the reason why is because the, the placenta has a huge amount of like anti-cancer chemicals within within the stem cells in the placenta. It's got these pluripotent stem cells. They can't be turned into new life. They can't be turned into a embryo, but they can differentiate into any fetal or adult type stem cells. So basically 
these stem cells you can put into your body and they will turn into anything you want. So these are the ones that you want, placenta and umbilical cord. You can, from one placenta, you can get 10,000 uses of stem cells. So absolutely incredible stuff. And most of the time, the placenta after a baby's born is just thrown in the bin. So you can be really using this stuff to cure a huge amount of diseases. These are the ones you want, pluripotent stem cells coming from the placenta or the umbilical cord. That's the type of stem cells that you want injected into you from humans. Then you've got adult stem cells that come from bone marrow of the same patient. This is what a lot of people think stem cells are and this is not what you want. They can only turn into different, a couple different types of cells in the body and they're not gonna have the same regenerative effects as these ones here. They're not gonna de-age you in the same way. So there you go, boys, that's how you know. This is what you want, pluripotent stem cells, from placenta and umbilical cord. You do not want ones from your own body. They'll take stem cells from your bone marrow and put them somewhere else. Not what you need. You need more stem cells. You don't need to deplete your own adult stem cell stores. Just to re recap, what are these stem cells capable of? So they can go, they can repair broken bones. They can cure cancer, Alzheimer's, anti-aging. They can do skin grafts, fix ligament damage, and they can do absolutely anything inside the body. So how do you get hold of them? To get hold of stem cells, and from the research I've done, there are, there are multiple stem, stem cell treatments all over the world, but Panama, this center in Panama, it's called the Stem Cell Institute in Panama, is the leading stem cell, stem cell institute in the world. Costs start from $25,000, but as this medicine becomes more research, I think that price will go down and hopefully we'll start to see that medicine in other areas of the world because it is so incredible. But for $25,000, that is an absolute bargain if you have got an incurable disease or a, a destroyed body and you want to be de-aged. I mean, that is just incredible that that can be done. So that's why I wanted to make this video so you boys know about it because it really is as simple as if you can raise $25,000, you can apply to the Stem Cell Institute and you can get a loved one or somebody healed of, of a disease that they've got or get your parents looked after or fix a spine issue for your dad. It's, it's absolutely incredible stuff. So I really felt anyone needs to... Because although that's a lot of money, you can raise that. That $25,000, that could be raised quite easily if you have someone who is suffering seriously. So that, that's why I thought people needed to know about it. That's how you access them. And that is where in the world you would go to get them. I can guarantee you right now, I will be having stem cell therapy at some point in the future. I don't know when. And, and I, I actually think the majority of my family will. I'll make sure the majority of my family have stem cell therapy in the future as well. When I've got $25,000 to spare on stem cells, I'll be, I'll be using that. Absolutely guaranteed. And I intend on making a video about it when I go to get it done. Um, but boys, there you go. So that is how, that is the new medicine technology that will allow us to live to 150 years old. And that is one of the most incredible things I've come across in a long time. So I have to share it with you all. And apart from that, I think that I think that's everything. If you boys are interested in networking with guys that understand this stuff, just so you know that the groups and circles that I network with, we are uncovering things like this all the time. We discuss things like this, new business ideas, new advances in medicine, things that just the average man never finds out about, how to use different tax laws in different countries. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, if you wanna be around a network of guys that are doing things like that, six, seven figure entrepreneurs, network with elite guys, have meetups around the world, check out the new elite, the gentlemen's club down below. Have a look, if it's for you, I'll see you inside. But boys, it's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you on the next one. Whoopah, whoopah, whoopah!